today and I know that we're plenty into March but I didn't want to pass this up because there's so many things that I've been loving for February and I wanted to just quickly go through all of these for you. So we're going to start with skincare. And um, I've been noticing, I don't know if it has to do with my pregnancy or not, but I have been getting some sort of creasing around my eyes and I found that the skin actually is quite dry. So I went into Clinique the other day and I asked for some skincare routine that I could start to work on. So this is what I'm doing. <clears throat> um, when I was up at Sephora in Quebec, I got this Origins um, Plant Scription Anti-Aging Cleanser. Um, so I will link all of these products in the bars below so you can uh, get one for yourself or you can read a little bit further about them. So that is number one. I rinse and wash my face with this. And then immediately after, I am using the Clarifying Lotion, which is step one in the Clinique sort of sequencing for very dry to dry skin. And then right after that, I am applying um, this Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Now this lotion, from what I've been told, needs to go immediately beside this. So these two I'm definitely using in combination with one another. Um, I follow that with a Montai Montiel. Uh, it is from Paris. It is a hydrogel um, hydrating lifting serum. Oh no! Uh, sorry. I'll hang that up. <laughs> it's a hydrating lifting serum for your eyes. So it, um, I just pat that around my eyes nice and gently. And then I follow it with the Pure in Cream uh, Purifying 24 Hour Cleanser, so the, or uh, cream, so this is just an extra moisturizer for my entire face and neck. Finally, I add a Repair Laser Focus eye cream. So these two eye creams are the first times I've ventured into using eye creams. So I've got a serum first and then an eye cream second. Um, I know it's a lot, but I have noticed a dramatic difference and I'm probably three weeks in. And the wonderful thing is, is I've been really bad at rinsing off my makeup at night. And so I do find with this new system, I'm actually really excited to do it because I am noticing the change. So I've been really good with that. Moving on, um, hair stuff. I am a little bit of a hair snot, however, um, and what I mean by that is I usually buy products that are for salon um, use, but um, what I did purchase, because I also am a bit of a marketing um, sucker, is this Herbal Essence Honey I'm Strong Duo. Now it smells delicious. Um, one of the reasons I bought it is because I love anything that smells like honey or almonds. Um, and the girl's hair it just looked wonderful. Now she was probably Moroccan and this you know, long luscious locks. Um, however, this is quite luxurious. I do find it a little heavy, so I am noticing that I um, my bangs are getting a little bit greasy um, after you know one day, and I usually like to wash my hair every third day. So um, that is something that I've had to work with, but it does say it's 10 times stronger in one wash. I highly recommend it. It's got honey extract, strengthening shampoo and conditioner. And because of the, um, I find just my bangs because they're starting to get a little bit separated, I've been using this, which is a dry shampoo from Dove. Um, it is not my favorite dry shampoo. I am using it because I've gotten it. Uh, it doesn't really leave a whole lot of white, just a little bit, and that's important for me because my hair is pretty much black. And uh, I do have to follow it up though, I find, because dry shampoos typically make your hair very, um, matte. I do find that it needs to have just a squirt of some sort of shine um, afterwards in order to make my hair look okay and it's kind of counterproductive because I'm trying to take away the grease and then I'm adding some shine stuff back in. So like I said, not my favorite but it does the trick if you just need to get by for a day. Okay, so we're going to move on from hair stuff into some face things. And some of these products are things that you may not have heard of, so I'm really happy to share them with you. Some of them you may have heard of. This is called um, the Super BB Cream, and for those of you who don't know what a BB Cream is, um, 
it's a blemish balm and I this one actually specifically is meant for wrinkle improvement and whitening this one comes straight from overseas so we're looking from I believe it's Japan that I got this from um, no I'm lying it's Korea I got it from Korea and a beauty balm is supposed to essentially be your primer, your foundation, and your moisturizer all in one. Now with this cream, um, there's two. There's this one and then there's one in the pink. It actually um, comes out a little bit gray-like, but after maybe about 30 seconds to 45 seconds on my skin, um, it does oxidize and it actually blends quite nicely into my skin. The problem with this is again because you're looking for a whitening cream and that is a very big beauty trend to be quite light skinned. Um, the two colors, the pink and the, the silvery sort of gold, this is called the gold collection, um, they're very light. And when you look at them up close you can hardly tell the difference between the two of them. This one is just slightly darker. Um, but again, something I'll only be able to use in the winter time because come the summer there'll be too much color. There is an SPF 25 on this as well. Um, so love, love, love this product. It's like nothing I've ever tried before. It gives great coverage. Even though it's supposed to be a balm, it's nice and wet. And like I said, I'm experiencing a lot of dry skin right now. So I would highly recommend that. Um, for those of you who've seen my videos before, you're going to know exactly what this is. This is the Kevin Aquine. Um, skin uh, sensual skin enhancer and this is in the color sx02 uh, this stuff will last me probably for two years uh, i do have it in a couple different colors it costs about 50 bucks for the pot however it is a very thick um uh he lists that as a concealer however i would say i would use it more for my under eyes it just brightens um covers up any spots that i have it is very 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 thick uh, and like I said, you need the smallest little pea head size to cover your hole underneath, down the sides, and maybe your eyelids. So, strongly recommend this if you want something that's going to last you forever. Um, problem is, is again, during the seasons here in Canada, we vary a lot in our skin color. So, um, you will need to probably purchase a couple different colors because you will not go through this in one season. And then we're going to move into some eyes. And there's two pieces I'm going to show you for this. Um, this is the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay. Um, a lot of you that are used to watching these beauty guru things have seen this many, many, many times. Um, this is something that I've just picked up recently. And the colors are very beautiful, very neutral. Um, there's a couple matte shades, a lot of shimmer shades, but you're going down through the whole brown spectrum, um, which I have been absolutely loving lately. So this is, again, the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Um, I do want to get the Naked Basics palette as well, but not yet. Benefits, they're real. This is mascara. <clears throat> the wand is actually plasticky and uh, it's full, but it makes uh, my eyelashes have like this sort of doll-like look. Uh, it does create a little bit of a clump. So this is something that I actually like to wear if I'm going out um, as opposed to an everyday mascara. My favorite everyday mascara is um, the L'Oreal Tubes. Um, and then what I like to do is I use that first and then I'll put this over. So I think that's part of the clumping, but I actually kind of like that doll-like clumping look for going out. So that's us. On to lips. Uh, a couple products for lips. I'm trying to keep it down to like two items each section because I do want to cover a lot of things in my favorites. Sweet Lips. Um, this is another Lush product. I am a sucker for Lush. I love, 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 love it. Um, they actually, just a little bit of a plug for um, Undercover Boss Canada, were just featured in February, um, which was kind of cool because you can go behind the scenes and see how they make the products, um, which I really liked because this is like their home, their main thing is that it's fresh handmade um, cosmetics. So I wanted to really see how well a big, you know, company did across the board. So I'll link that below as well. Um, I know that 
I, um, I streamed it, but um, you might be able to see it some other way. Not streamed it, I wasn't able to stream it, but I did PVR it. Um, so I'm not sure if you can figure that out or not. Anyway, lips, sweet lips. This is a sugar scrub. I have um, made a video before of a homemade sugar scrub. And I, what I wanted to do, because I've never actually purchased a sugar scrub, I wanted to compare my homemade one with this one. So I will do a comparison video and I will actually link below again or over somewhere here maybe um, the video that I did for the homemade lip scrub. And to be honest, I think that the one that I made was pretty damn comparable, if not better. Um, the one I would think that I would do for my homemade is instead of using olive oil, I might use a different oil, it was just all I had, so I'd probably use like an almond oil or something, um, just because you could taste a little bit of that, um, but this one actually has, um, you can eat it, it just tastes like sugar, anyway, it's really good, you scrub it on your lips, and it's gone. The second thing that I have is by L'Oreal and it's the Infallible uh, Lip Color. And this is like a lip stain. It's a two-step process. It's got the doe foot wand um, and you put this on. Now the trick with this is you have to let it dry. So let it sit for a good two minutes and then afterwards you put and apply this clear gloss balm. Um, this clear gloss balm is so moisturizing because at first you put it on you'll go oh my god my lips are so dry um, the color that I have here is called geranium and it's number 120 I really like nude colors um, so it's also quite nice because it's a fairly reflective surface so you can actually use it um, to apply your lipstick uh, so it's great for on the go and I will uh, I'm gonna actually do a video to show how well these stand up I'm gonna compare a light color and a dark color and I'm gonna do segments during out the day um, and we'll test to see how long these like eight hour you know products actually do last so um, if you're interested be sure to subscribe at the end so you won't miss that video when I do that review moving right along to scents um, Um, my favorite scent is something that I've ordered online and it's the Aveda Key Element Water Nature number no. 6 in restoring and if anybody's familiar with Aveda, this is like their typical Aveda smell. If you know the smell of the uh, shampoo called Shampure, this is exactly what that smells like. So this is their essential oil. Again, this probably was about 80 or 90 dollars. I ordered it online. I don't know if you can buy it in the store. Um, I know that there are some products that Aveda only allows for their masseuses and stuff to actually use during treatments and they don't sell to the public and I have a feeling this might be one of them because it's kind of their signature scent. But love, love, love it. I've had this for, this is an old favorite, I've had this for probably a year now and I'm only just to this, oops, sorry, just to bit here in the bottle and I use it on my skin um, as a perfume oil. Moving into Baby Buys. A um, couple things that I am just in love with and I can't wait to dress my little munchkin up in. Um, are these little cute adorable moccasins that Craig and I got when we were in Quebec City on our baby moon. And secondly, this wonderful buy that I got at our local thrift store. So it's a sleep sack, which is super cute. And this is going to be, I think, yeah, six, six months to two years, so it's pretty big. And like I said, I got it at our local Value Village for $2.99. So super cute, uh, love, love, love it. Happy with that buy. For my own personal fashion item that I love. This month and this entire winter season have been my Manitoba Mucklux. Um, I wear these every day, all day long. Um, they have a crepe sole on them so they actually feel like you're walking in slippers. I wear them barefoot because they're completely lined with deliciousness of, uh, you know, 
whatever softness and my mother just purchased me some insoles I'm not gonna take them out because it took me a minute to get them in there but some insoles uh, that are like sheepskin so um, they are so lovely they've just like opened up my whole shoes again and as you can see they are beaded um, I will link this company definitely below because I think you should check it out. Um, it's a little bit hard to purchase Manitoba Mucklucks because they are a specialty item, but um, they support local um, local uh, women and uh, everything is done um, in that supportiveness. So it's not uh, it's not like you're going to your local store and buying the, the mucklucks that are really cool right now. These are pretty authentic ones, which I absolutely love. Um, I do have another pair by them as well that I will review later. Um, for my nails, a lot of you have noticed that I do uh, my nails quite a bit. Um, I will go into the whole system that I used, but um, I am a sucker for these uh, gelish and shellac and I now have purchased the OPI top and bottom coat and I am actually finding I'm having the best luck with that. So I will do um, a video that will talk a little bit about how I do my nail care routines, um, the products that I use for this sort of gel hybrid nail setting. Um, UV technology, um, which actually lasts for a full two week manicure. So that's what I use on my nails and sometimes I've been using some uh, Essie paints or uh, what's the other brand I like? Oh, I can't think of it right now, baby brain. Anyway, there's another brand that I've been using a lot for top coats. Um, because I can put this stuff on as a base in a light color, I can paint over it and I can take it off with your regular nail polish and it won't touch this coat. So this bottom coat will protect my nails for two full weeks. When I went to my midwives, um, I was told that Kieran is still a uh, breach. So we are doing Mock Sebastian. So I have to include Mock Sebastian into um, my session. I can't say for 100% that it's a favorite yet because I don't know if the baby's turning from it. But this is a um, sort of a naturopathic way to flip your baby. You burn this Mock Sebastian stick just to the outside edge of your baby toe, which is bladder, I believe 67 uh, meridian line. And for 20 minutes, twice a day, you alternate for five minutes each foot. And uh, you burn this and it's a smokeless um, stick. And uh, yeah, it is to help turn your baby. So that is one thing. Uh, my favorite food item right now is Pop-Tarts. Crazy, ew, gross. <laughs> but I'm loving these things. Um, I use them like a dessert. Yum, yum, yum. The other thing is my uh, filters that I've just ordered from eBay for my Keurig. Uh, so I can easily pack my own Keurig cups. I don't have to worry about the environmental damage. And the filters can be um, put into my compost bin and can be composted along with the coffee grinds. It's so much easier for cleanup than just the little netting. So um, that is definitely one of my food and drink favorites this month. The favorite app on my phone is The Bump. Um, obviously I'm pregnant, so I'm wanting to know kind of what's happening on a daily and weekly basis with the baby. It's also got a great spot where I can actually take a picture uh, up from my phone and put it in. So I've got a little bit of a tracker of each week. I get to see what the baby progression has looked like. The looking out here. My favorite things to do lately. Um, I'm kind of loving this recording the YouTube videos. I'm, I'm really enjoying that. And I also like doing my nails. Favorite book, Beyond the Sling. Um, I've talked about this before. Again, I will link that video below as well.
my favorite band right now. I'm a little bit out of touch with music. I haven't really been listening to it a lot, but I am really liking Mumford and Sons. My husband is a fantastic musician and he's been singing a lot of their stuff. So I've also been listening to it because he has been singing it. So I quite enjoy that. Um, another amazing randomness, aside from our breech baby and our mock Sebastian, is my visit to the Lenordic Spa with my mom and my mommy too, which is Craig's mom. Um, so that was super fun. Favorite TV show? I love 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 sons of anarchy i've watched the season before i can't not mention sons of anarchy in this first sort of tv show favorite um however for probably right now i've watched the following a lot and i've also watched the bachelor <laughs> so um yeah i know i pvr it so late at night when i've been working on my computer i watch it and yeah enough said uh, Um, anything else? Oh yeah, favorite movie, Life of Pi, is one that I've watched this last month and quite loved. And... And I think the last thing that I wanted to say was my favorite humans of this month. And my favorite humans of this month are my lovely, lovely, lovely husband. I love you so much, Craig. And, um, also the one that's cooking up in my belly. So my favorite humans this week are Kieran and my husband, um, and actually it's of this whole month, so you guys get not just this week, but four of them. <laughs> so um, that's it. Thanks so much for bearing with me. This is a long video, um, but I'm planning on doing this a little bit more organized each month, and it will be up for you within the first week. So thank you again for watching and joining me on February Favorites. And if you'd like, please subscribe um, by clicking the button just to the side here, or you can link to any of these videos that are listed below. I really enjoy making these videos and I'm making them for you to watch and for me to have as a lovely sort of keepsake for my baby and um, just in general. And uh, you know, by subscribing, it really means a lot to me. So thank you again and I will see you all later. Bye!